What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good afternoon. Ripple Van Winkle is back on his lunch break because you probably guessed it by the thumbnail of this video what we're about to talk about. We're about to talk about the latest news that came out from the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. We're going to talk about that possible, possible, highly likely scenario of when this whole thing is going to wrap up and when each and every one of you can expect Moon. We're also... We're going to touch on an explosion that is going to come to the XRP ledger later. I don't later this year is a little too long. It's coming soon, folks. And I don't think you understand of how big this explosion is going to be. So without further ado, let's get into this thing. Let's head over to live coin and watch this look at the prices. What are we seeing? We're seeing a Bitcoin at $38,622. It is currently down 1.1%. Not to shabby xrp hasn't moved since this morning it's 0.759 looking like a mean lean 76 to me currently down 4.14 percent the past 24 hours bitcoin dominance has arisen it is up to 42.23 percent where it was just coming in this morning at 42.02 percent remember that number i told you to look out for bitcoin dominance above 45 percent it is slowly creeping up total market cap is chilling around 1.7 trillion. So listen, the markets, they don't look great. I get it. Now's the time for you to be sitting on your hands or positioning yourself for a buy. A lot of people, especially in the Patreon group, ask me, hey, Ben Winkle, when are you buying? I got my range. 52 to 69 cents are all buy zones. Why do I say that? Well, I go to my man Jay's charge. Jay tells me 52 to 69 cents are my buy zones. I've been listening to Jay since he came out, since I first was introduced to him, since I first started talking to him. He has been spot on. If you were looking at some, some of the best TA in the game, if not the best, it is Jay. He tells you your buy zones, where you start to load up. He tells you the sell zones, where you start to sell. He gives you the up and the downs. He's no moon boy. He knows how to control his motions, and he's going to help you control yours. Remember that. Now, I want to move over to this because my man Moonboy did it again. He's exclusively dropped another collection onto Solo's platform. There's only a hundred of these. These are all images. It is raining XRP on the moon, folks. These are only 58.9 XRP. Beautiful, beautiful work. Go support him. I'm going to link this below. 58.9 XRP. How are you going to turn that down? What is it, like 50 bucks? If that, 40 bucks? Come on now. Here's the link to the solo platform. 93 left added possible 100. But let's talk about this explosion that is coming to the XRP ledger. It is the NFTs. I have been preaching day in and day out about these NFT projects that are coming to the ledger. I do my research. I only promote certain projects on this channel. I've been talking a lot about a lot of different NFT projects, folks. Why? Because later this year, when the amendment gets voted in and these NFT projects get a go live date, you are going to see a wave a wave of money pour into the XRP ledger. I am talking about a wave. You are going to see an explosion like you have never seen before. Now, if you think currently what is going on with these NFTs, you know, is this is, you know, it's some good stuff. Well, it is, but this is just wave one. There is going to be a second wave. That second wave is once we get go live dates and that's coming soon. Here's a project to talk to you about as well. X zombies. X Zombies was actually just put out an exclusive collection on Solo. Solo removed it for the time being is a mistake. Don't worry, it's getting figured out. But he only put 100 of these out. Folks, there's only like 15 or so left. These things are going to go. I don't think you understand the value of NFTs. Another project to talk to you about, X Parrot. Coming to the ledger later. Telling you about these for a reason. You need to stop paying attention. And then Patrick Henson puts this out. This was from earlier's video. Well, the vote's over. The EU Parliament just voted about three hours ago in the favor to not ban proof of work. 32 against it, only 24 in favor. A big relief and political success for the Bitcoin and crypto community in the EU. We'll share a breakdown of the vote and what's next here in the thread. Listen. No, a lot of you want a side lunch chair and you want a Bitcoin, you know, 
You wanted it to get dumped. You wanted it to get voted out the EU. But in the long run, what is that really going to do for anyone? What's it going to really seriously do for anyone? If anything, it's going to hurt. I know us as XRP fans, we take a lot of crap from all the other crypto assets out there. I get it. I've seen it firsthand since 2017. But you know what? If Bitcoin secedes, the rest of the market secedes. If the rest of the market secedes, Bitcoin secedes, okay? No one's telling you you need to own it. No one's telling you you need to sit there, you know, and preach and talk about it and say it's the best thing out there because we know the truth when it comes to Bitcoin. But at the end of the day, if Bitcoin was never created by Satoshi, me, you, your mom, your dad, everyone that's involved in this crypto scene, we probably wouldn't be here. And that's just pure facts. So yes, we are lucky that Bitcoin came out. Yes, we are lucky that Bitcoin helped put crypto on the map. And yes, there is a lot of better options out there besides Bitcoin. But the fact is, Bitcoin's going to still live in the EU. They didn't ban it. This is a plus, folks. And until Pettit gets into this, this is huge. Stay with me on this. Because you know why? I don't see anyone else covering this information. No one. Everyone's focused on the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit, which is great. I get it. But there's still other things going on that relates to Ripple and XRP. And this is one of them. QS Remit. Clearly a Ripple customer. Partnership with Ripple's customer Brock Bank recently just announced. It also partnered with on-demand liquidity partner Trangelo and Himmel Remit. Why am I showing you this? I'll tell you why. Himmel Remit, remember that. Who are they? Himalayan Bank Limited is one of the largest private banks in Nepal. The bank was incorporated in 1992 by a few eminent individuals of Nepal in partnership with the Employees Provident Fund and Habib Bank Limited of Pakistan. The bank commenced its operation January 93. So we got this Himalayan Bank, right? AKA Himal Bank. We just found out Ripple customers are partner with them. Well, we didn't come to find out from T.O. Bennett that Hamal Remit clearly is a Ripple customer. Their partners include Ripple Heavyweight's on-demand liquidity customers, Trangelo, IDD Corp, which is known as Boss Money, Zensei, and Ripple customer Lulu, Alpharon, Rational FX, UAE Exchange, BFC, Unimono, TravelX, etc. These are all interconnected and intertwined Ripple Net customers, AKA gonna be on demand liquidity users. But this news is getting uncovered, why? Because you have a Ripple versus SEC lawsuit that is dominating the news right now. But this news right here is absolutely huge. This is a bank, folks, a bank, who partnered with Lulu Exchange and Trangelo. Trangelo is known and they already announced they will be using on-demand liquidity, AKA XRP. And now we get this bank that's announcing a partnership. This is absolutely massive news. And we come to find out right here, back in 2018 from the annual report from the CEO of the Himalayan Bank Limited, that hey, he says, we're also proud that we are among the remittance service providers in the country. The remittance business is growing day by day with exploration of new avenues of business in the Korean Peninsula, Japan, and other countries. We have also tied out with Ripple and expect to start our services with them very soon. Folks, this is huge. Everything that is going on on the other side of the world, all the partnerships that are getting involved with Ripple and XRP, this thing is going to explode. Explode, folks. Explode. Yes, I said explode three times. I hope you know what it's going to do because it's going to explode. Now let's talk a little about the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. What do we find out? An update from today. The SEC filed a motion for extension. Go figure. The SEC wants another extension until March 18th. Not a big deal. I believe it's, it comes out to be an extra two days. This is in response to Ripple's motions to strike the supplemental expert report. Ripple will then file their reply to the SEC by March 24th, so 10 days from now. Why is this big? Well, things are moving. And we got a delay, but it's only a two-day delay. Remember when the case first got started, we would see two month, three months delays. Now, listen, if there's going to be a two day delay, so be it. Let it happen. But you know what? We know where this lawsuit goes. We know how it ends. And Alan Natera picks up on it. She says, I always make a point of reaching out to both sides. 
Talk about reaching out to the SEC and Ripple for comment when any news breaks in the case. In response to my email from Friday, I, re I received a, we declined to comment from the SEC on the decision to deny their motion to strike Ripple's fair de defense notice. Of course, what do you think they're going to comment on this? This fair defense notice could ruin the SEC. It could absolutely destroy them and get them completely out of the crypto markets. This is huge. They're not going to reply to this. They're backed into a corner. How many times do you got to use the analogy? When you back someone into a corner and you start just laying on those licks and you start blowing them and knocking them in the body, what happens? Sooner or later, they fall. Well, the SEC's knees are getting weak, folks. Their knees are getting weak. They're about to buckle. They're going to fall. And when they fall, they will crumble. And when they crumble, Brad and Chris will be standing in the ring on top of the mountain, wherever you want to envision them, with their hands being raised because they won a lawsuit. A lawsuit that was dead on arrival. Then we get to Jeremy Hogan. He's going to tell you when he thinks things come to an end. You know what he thinks? Right here. Brian Morach says, you think this prediction regarding the case is going to end in November? You think it's sooner now? He goes, not really. Just increases the chances a lot. Folks, November is how long away? Seven months? Six and a half months? Before you know it, we're going to get NFTs on the ledger. Before you know it, we're going to get a Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit that's finished and we have clarity for XRP. And before you know it, XRP is on the back of a rocket taken off to a land where you have never envisioned it before. That is where this thing is going, folks. And that's where I'm going to leave this video. Check out all the links in the description of this video. Make sure you join the Patreon. You're missing out on some beautiful, beautiful passive income plays. And I got another one that I'm about to shoot off and fire off, folks. Ripple vs. SEC. November. Time frame. With a great possibility this thing comes to an end before. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.